In this microcast, I'll show you how to determine if your Raspberry Pi is susceptible to the bash bug and how to fix it. Now the bash bug is a 22 year old bug dating back to version 1.13 of bash. And the issue lies in bash's handling of environment variables. When assigning a function to a variable, trailing code in the function definition will be executed. This is especially problematic if those environment variables can be sent over the network which makes any Raspberry Pi connected to the internet, which has this vulnerability, susceptible to attack. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is determine if our Pi is vulnerable to the bash bug. And there is a post in the raspberrypi.org forums that has some great instructions on how to see if you, how to check for the vulnerability and then also how to fix it. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this line right here that we're going to run in our shell and this will show the exploit if we are not patched and so we're just going to paste that right in hit enter and you'll see we get busted completed meaning it is broken we are the our version of bash does have the vulnerability and so then they show down here that you can run sudo apt-get update and then sudo apt-get dash y dist upgrade and that will take care of it for you but it's really these two packages that need to be updated. So just to illustrate that, we're gonna do just those two. So we're gonna do sudo apt-get install bash to get the new bash package. And then we'll do the lib nss3 as well. Okay, and once the bash is done, we'll just do this again. This time we'll do libnss3 say yes to that All right now once those are done we'll just go ahead and run our test again and you'll notice that time we just got completed we did not get the busted which means that we are good and patched and ready to go.